Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video that in this video we will discuss about prime factorization and how to prime factorize any number. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. Now before learning how, let us first understand what is prime factorization. So basically prime factorization is a property that is possessed by each and every number by which it can be represented as a product of prime numbers raised to any arbitrary powers. So let's take an example. Suppose we have the number 12. Now I can say that 12 is equal to 2 square into 3. Now both 2 and 3 are prime numbers and 2 is raised to a positive power and same as 3. So let's take another example. Suppose we have the number 33. Now I know that 33 is equal to 3 to the power 1 into 11 to the power 1 and both 3 and 11 are prime numbers. So you can see that we can represent all the numbers as a product of prime numbers raised to any arbitrary power. So in general if we have a number let's say n then I can represent n as a to the power p into b to the power q into c to the power r and so on where a, b and c are prime numbers and p, q and r are any arbitrary powers. So a, b and c are prime numbers and p, q and r are positive powers that are greater than 0. So for example, p, q and r can be either 1, 2, 3 or so on. Let's say I give you this number 1839 and I tell you to prime factorize this number. Now this number is not same as 12 and 33 and it is not as simple as to prime factorize these two. So let's learn the general method of prime factorization of a number. So let's learn with the help of an example. So suppose we have the number 130 and we have to prime factorize this number. So what we have to do is we have to continuously divide this number by the prime numbers from 2, 3, 5 and so on until we reach the number 1. So if we divide this number by 2, I will get the quotient as 65. Now I can see that 65 is not divisible by 2, so I will move to the number 3. Now 6 plus 5 is equal to 11, which is not divisible by 3, so 65 is not divisible by 3. Now I can see that it is divisible by 5, so I will divide it by 5, and the quotient that I will get is 13. And 13 is a prime number, so it is only divisible by 13, and we get the number 1. So the prime factorization of 130 is equal to 2 into 5 into 13. So as you can see, this method is very simple. You just have to see that which smallest prime number divides the given number and then you have to move ahead with the other higher prime numbers until we reach the number 1. So let's take an another example. Suppose we have to prime factorize the number 232. Now I know that 232 is divisible by 2, so I will divide it by 2. And the quotient that I will get is 116. Now 116 is still divisible by 2, so I will divide it by 2 and the quotient that I will get is 58. Now 58 is divisible by 2, so I will again divide it by 2 and the quotient that I will get is 29. Now since 29 is a prime number, I will directly divide it by 29 and I will get 1. So the prime factorization of 232 is 2 to the power 3 into 29. Now in some of the cases we can apply a much faster method, so let's learn that method too. So let's say we have to prime factorize the number 900. Now I know that 900 is equal to 30 square, so I will write it as 30 square. Now I know that 30 is equal to 3 into 10, so I will write it as 3 into 10 square. Now 10 is equal to 2 into 5, so my answer is 3 into 2 into 5 whole square. So the prime factorization is equal to 2 square into 3 square into 5 square. Now this method is very useful during the competitive exam because over there you don't have the time to use the long division method and if you have the practice for this method you can do it mentally. So let's solve some few more examples using this method. Let's say we have to prime factorize 260. Now I know that 260 is equal to 20 to 13 so I will write it as 20 to 13. Now 20 is equal to 2 into 10 and 10 is equal to 2 into 5 so that is equal to 2 square into 5 into 13 and that is my answer. Let's take an another example. Suppose we have to prime factorize 8400. 
Now I know that 8400 is equal to 400 into 21. Now 21 is equal to 3 into 7 and 400 is equal to 20 square and 20 is equal to 2 square into 5. So my final answer is 2 square into 5 whole square into 3 into 7. So you can see that how fast we have prime factorized these numbers and once you get the practice you can also do the same. Now with the point of view for the competitive exam prime factorization is very important because at least two to three questions are based on prime factorization either directly or indirectly. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASIN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy. Oh,